is Veronica with Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today's video is a project share. Um, I currently was involved in a personal swap with Becky Long and I will link her channel in the description below. And what we decided to do is binder mail. I decided to go with the Flourish collection and here it is right here. This is supposed to be a shaker but the little bits got um, caught and um and the foam so here we are i just put a bow here this is the shaker added flowers around the front and then um this M maggie holmes inspired uh vine and then right here we have the gold leaves and um it's backed with the black and white um, paper and i put a black border on this yellow binder and then on the side here it says Becky and that's for Miss Becky Long and then I have this tassel right here yes I used a drill I got I put my sleeves up grabbed the drill and drilled a hole in this wood I guess these are called wood veneers I picked this up at Michaels and it is a white glitter bead and it did not have a hole there I just added the uh, chain added some oh I added Swarovski crystal right there for her and this tassel with a little charm on top of it and so yeah I really love that and on the back here we're gonna turn it over look how chunky it is so here's the back and then I have a, a clip right here and then this wood piece is from Joann's and it says made with love and it's just a wood piece and it just says that and then I made this um, envelope and I velcroed it and it has some um, just some goodies in here we have confetti stars and some uh, Joann's foil adhesive labels and so I just put it in there put my information at the very bottom and it's just added velcro and that's how it's decorated and so let's get into this i love this bow this bow is um, paper studio from hobby lobby so the first page right here is the swan the inside cover i added these flags and um then i backed well they're she could just remove this because it is um, glued with removable glue dots. And then I made this a shaker right here. I just put the um, Love ephem Ephemera in here in this plastic, sealed it up, and then added this sequence. And so yeah, there's the flags. And uh, this butterfly in the back. Thank you to Joanne. Um, the happy stamper because she gifted me that and I'm going to do a video on that I just haven't had time and so yeah thank you Joanne and so here we have rosette and then this rosette is removable it's in, sealed in a bag and yeah it just has a bunch of ephemera and cutouts that I clustered together and here is the peacock the peacock is um, I put glossy accents to make it shiny and then um, I fussy cut these butterflies and the dragonfly and added glossy accents to give it a shine and then the water here has um, stickles and then I just added some um, what is this trim um, sequence trim around the whole page so that's that's what it looks like right there let's turn the page the next page is all about butterflies and so right here we have a rosette it's removable we have this um, butterfly that I fussy cut this ephemera with a cluster of um, flowers and then it says right here um, butterfly index because this is all about butterflies and I added this um, really cute trim tassel trim and here is the butterfly that Joanne gifted me. Thank you so much, Joanne. I commented on her video saying, I need that butterfly right about now. And she sent me this as a rack. And I'm so grateful for, for her because she not only made me happy, but she will make Becky Long happy 
with this big butterfly that's in her binder mail now. So I love that domino effect of happiness and I appreciate that, Joanne. So on this butterfly, it's just a page. I added some, uh, what are these called? I, I always forget, goodness. Uh, eyelets. I added eyelets to this butterfly. And then on this butterfly, I just pieced this little um, paper clip flag on it. It has a bunch of clusters on it and there's nothing on the back. It is a fishtail banner on this huge paper clip. And so behind that is I'm gifting her um, these chipboard stars I picked up at Joann's and I wanted to share that with her. It was it was actually already in um, a package, but the package was funky and I didn't like it. It's brown and so I just put it in here and just added it to this butterfly. And so here we have another rose set and this is on, this is glued with removable glue dots. And here are some, I love these hearts. These crochet hearts are so cute. I have a video on that. I will link that in the description below. Just added some ephemera. And again, these are fussy cut um, butterflies from the paper pad. And I just added glossy accents. And so I just covered um, the side with this uh, tassel trim. And yeah, I think it came out really cute lovely actually it says lovely there so yeah I turned the page and here we have <clears throat> sort of a countryside um, village theme going on here and let's start on this side and here we have I added um, this fence and it's actually a wood veneer I think that's what you call it um, I picked it up at Michael's. It's not it's not white. It's not painted. I painted this with acrylic paints. Added the house. This is the ephemera. And then added on the black only. I added Versamark on the black. And so, yeah. And here is a rosette. And it's, um, again, bagged. And she can remove that. Uh, okay, so this right here. I got it from a YouTuber. Who makes cards and I forgot her name but I will link it in the description below or I'll put it in the um, in the screen so I picked this up at Michael again wood and it's not painted I painted it black and added all this stuff around it and then glued the um, the paper that had the peacock on it and then so yeah here it is I think it came out really cute looks sort of like a shadow box in binder mail right and um, then added the rosette. And I love this little flower I made for this rosette. It's super cute. It's done with a Sizzix die, and I absolutely love it. You turn this, and on this wood veneer, we have a back, and it's also clustered with houses and flowers. And then I made these tassels for her, and um, I, I got inspired with these tassels from a few people. Um, the first person was Michelle and I will link her to her her channel in the description below another person um, was Adriana Alvarez on Instagram and another person um, who isn't a paper crafter and I forgot the name um, you know you search up um, how to make tassels you get all kinds of uh, of recommendations and so that was one of them so there's just a it was just a handful of people that I got inspired by and so and this is what happened <laughs> so yeah and then the next page here is again the same as the last we put the fence we added these um, cutouts that I glued that I added glossy accents to the houses also came from the paper pad added glass glossy accents and then the ephemera, and this one is from the Willow Lane collection. I thought it would look cute here. Um, it's the clock. I called it a birdhouse last time, but <laughs> it's a clock. <laughs> Another video. And then on the um, edges of the page, I added this yellow pom-pom tassel, and I think it, it goes very well with the yellow paper. And so this bird right here is um, vellum. 
and it's part of the ephemera and I just glued it onto this white clothespin. So let's just put that back and isn't that cute? Super adorable. Let's turn the page. Okay, so this page right here is all about um, the forest, animals, flowers. And so I added this deer, Bambi, right? And then I put um, a bow on this deer. I crocheted that. I will link um, the tutorial that I got that from in the description below. Added this flower. This is actually a recollections flower. And then I added pieces of the ephemera. And um, these are inspired Maggie Holmes rosettes that I made. And so I'm going to do a video on this on how to get those rosettes that are in the Maggie Holmes embellishment um, package that she has. And yeah. I think it came out really cute and almost the same, very inspired Maggie Holmes. The trim is inspired um, trim also mimicking Maggie Holmes and yeah, I love it. So um, this side, ooh, this side right here, look at this, you guys. These little puffy stickers, uh, they're so cute. I love puffy stickers right now. And again, another rosette inspired Maggie Holmes. And then another little puffy sticker right here. I think these are so cute and it went well with the paper, right? paper has these hummingbirds um, feeding off of flowers and then again the trim is the inspired Maggie Holmes trim okay almost done the last page here is the last page and I used the Willow Lane frame because I really thought it would go good with this and I uh, added the the bunny ephemera there and then added the Willow Lane sentiment um wonderful you and then i made these inspired maggie holmes tassels out of crepe paper <laughs> and so i got this from somebody oh my goodness i forgot who inspired me to make these but they're backed with some um, um foam adhesive and so you could use this as embellishment for anything. And so here is the last, this is the cover, the back cover. And there's the, the bird again. I love it. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Okay, so this clip comes off and it is holding this inspired thickers that I made her and using my favorite dies by Sizzix. I love these dies. They go great with Maggie Holmes. And so I made these inspired thickers for her and backed it onto some, um, some plastic. And this is actual plastic that I um, reused from a, a tag package. And so, yeah, so Becky, when you remove these, remove these very slowly because they are handmade. And when you remove them from the plastic, they're gonna tend to want to stretch. And so they're just a whole handmade uh, thickers and just, uh, ju just be very gentle with them. So that way you could, re you could use them. So I have that right there. I'm gonna put it to the side. And I have these Joann's um, puffy they're kind of a of acrylic hearts and I should cover this I think I will cover that and then I also have this um butterfly that Joanne gifted me that Joanne gifted me thank you Joanne for that I appreciate it here's another wood veneer this one was already painted came from Michaels and I just glued it to this um back right here and it is the B for Becky and then I added the sentiment right here from the Willow Lane. And then the rest is the Flourish Collection. And so, yeah, that is my binder mail, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. And hopefully I will do another binder mail swap with somebody. Because I enjoy making these. And I have four more binders to go. 
They're plain, empty, and ready for a new home. And so let's go ahead and go through it one last time really fast so you guys can see. So here's the front. Here's the side. Here's the back. And then first page, second page, inner second page, <laughs> third page, and then the wood veneer, fourth page, and then the back. I hope you guys enjoyed that, you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. This video has gone way too long. And I will see you in the next video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you like my content, please subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye.